assalamu alaikum students hope you are good today again i am here to teach you a new topic of math which is so easy and interesting the topic name is division the topic name is division division means equal distribution or equal sharing simply anything which we can share equally is called division so now i am going to show the sign of division look at this sign this is the sign of division whenever you see the sign you simply divide the numbers okay now these are the terms of division divide share dividend divisor equal sharing give away take out left and remainder now i'm going to tell you some examples in the example i'm going to use white board over here okay let's start i have some sharpeners over here now let's count the sharpener how many sharpeners i have one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22 23 and 24 i have 24 sharpeners over here now i am going to distribute it in four boxes one two Three and four. Now I'm going to start distributing it equally. Done. Oh, I forgot to count while distributing the sharpeners. How many I give? How many I have put in each box. So what will I do? Yeah, I have put equal sharpeners in each box. So, oh, stop, stop! Don't start counting. I know the magic trick. So let's see. I had twenty-four sharpeners, and I distribute it in four boxes. Now, since I divided equally in each box, so I use the sign of division. Now start reading the table of four till twenty-four comes. Four one is four. Four twos are eight. Four threes are twelve. Four fours are sixteen. Four fives are twenty. 
Four six are twenty four. The answer we get is six. Now let's check how many sharpeners does each box have. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 The answer we get six. Now move on to another example. Let's remove the stuff. Now I'm going to wrap the board. Now in the next example, I have two boys. In the next example, I have two boys and some color pencils. Now first I count how many pencils in my hand. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I have eighteen pencils in my hand. Now I'm going to distribute it eight into boys. Remember that I'm going to distribute it equally. Done. Now, how many pencils I had? I had eighteen pencils. How many boys are there? One, two. Because I distributed the pencils equally, so I write the sign of division here. Now, start with the table of two till eighteen comes. Two one is two. Two twos are. Four two threes are six. Two fours are eight. Two fives are ten. Two six are twelve. Two sevens are fourteen. Two eights are sixteen. Two nines are eighteen. The answer we get is nine. Now let's verify the answer. How many pencils does each boy have? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Each boy have nine pencils. Now. Start read the sum. Eighteen divided by two equals to nine pencils. Now I'm going to removing the stuff. Now come to your classwork. I hope. you understand my today's lecture and also previous lecture that was addition subtraction multiplication and division now come to your textbook open your maths book page number 1 
mention the today's date on page number 1 now i am going to start reading the question look at the number crunchers what number comes out at the other end one is done for you now i'm going to start explaining the question question a okay for the number 8 and 9 there is a sign of addition so first we add 8 plus 9 so when i am going to add 8 plus 9 now which one is bigger number the bigger number is 9 keep 9 as in your mind and open your eight fingers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 start forward counting after 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 the answer is 17 so 8 plus 9 equals to 17 now 17 keep 17 in your mind and minus 2 17 minus 2 keep 17 in your mind and open your two fingers Now start backward counting from seventeen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen. Which number is left? The number fifteen is left. So the answer we get fifteen. Now I repeat the question. Eight plus nine is equals to seventeen. Seventeen minus two is equals to fifteen. The answer is fifteen. This question is very easy. Now come on, question number B. Now I'm going to explain it. B. First, there is a number of twelve and four. First, we do twelve minus four. So I'm going to write. So I'm going to write here twelve minus four. Twelve in your mind, four fingers open. Start the backward counting from twelve. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight. Which number is left? The answer we get A. Now the at the Answer is eight. Now I'm going to eight here divided by two. Here is a sign of division. So we start reading the table of two till comes eight. Two one is two. Two twos are four. Two threes are six. Two fours are eight. The answer is four. Now. Their number is fourteen. Fourteen plus four. Now I'm going to add fourteen plus four. Keep fourteen in your mind and four fingers open. There is a sign of addition, so we start forward counting after fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. The answer is eighteen. So question B answer is eighteen. Now come question C. I'm going to start solving it. Solve. Start solving with me. First one is twenty-four. First number is twenty-four. So twenty-four minus fourteen. Twenty minus fourteen. First. We start with one side. Four minus four. Four minus four is zero, and two minus one is one. The answer we get ten. So ten multiply by two. Start reading the table of ten, which is very easy. Ten one is ten. 
Ten twos are twenty. The second answer is twenty. Now, the next one is twenty plus seven. Twenty plus seven. Keep twenty in your mind. Seven fingers open. Start the forward counting for after twenty. 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 the answer is 27 okay the next is 27 plus 20 okay 27 plus 20 first we add start we add start for from one side 7 plus 0 the answer is 0 7 and 2 plus 2. It's very easy. Answer is 4. The answer we get 47. So I write here 47. So the remaining question is very easy. I'm, I'm going to start solving question number D. That is 60 minus 50. Again, start from one side, 0 minus 0, it's very easy, 0. And 6 minus 5 is 1. The answer is 10. Now, 10 multiply by 22. 10 multiply by 2. We start reading the table of 10. 10, 1 is 10. 10, 2s are 20. The answer is 20. Now, move on to the next number. 20. Plus 18. Now again start from one side. 0 plus 8 is so very easy. 8 and 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. The answer is 38. So here I am write 38. The last now I am going to start solving the last crunch here. So start solving with me. We said E first 99 minus 90. It's very easy. So first start solving the sum from one side. 9 minus 0 is equal to 9. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. The answer is 9. So 9 divided by 3. I am going to start reading the table of 3 because this is division sign. So 3 1 is 3, 3 2's are 6, 3 3's are 9. The answer we get 3. Now come to the next number. 3 answer is 3 multiply by 5. 3 multiply by 5. Now I am going to reading the table of 3. 3 1's are 3. 3 1 is 3. 3 2's are 6. 3 3's are 9. 3 4's are 12. 3 5's are 15. The answer is 15. The last is 15 and 15 and 30. 15 plus 30. Let's see what the answer we get. 5 plus 0. It is very easy. You know that 5. When we add 5 plus 0, answer we get 5. And 1 plus 3 equals to 4. The answer we get 45. So, the, you write the answer 45. This page is done. Now, I hope you understand the today's lecture. Now move on to your today's homework. Okay, I hope you understand my lecture. So I'm going to give you homework because it's weekend. So I'm giving you three homework. First one is division sum. Second one is forward counting. And the third one is very easy inwards counting. So first question is division sum. Solve division sums. Now I am going to start reading the question. Question A is 18 divided by 2 equals to answer. 
Question B, 27 divided by 3. Question C, 25 divided by 5. Question D, 28 divided by 4. Question E, 21 divided by 7. Now, that, uh, that uh, homework is related to, do, uh, to our today's homework. That is related to our today's lecture. Now, I'm going to move in question number two. Question number two is write forward counting one till hundred. Remember that one stands and hundred. Now, question number three is write inwards counting one till twenty in your copy. Now, Pause the video and note down your today's homework. That is very easy. So, so please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for latest lecture update. Allah Hafiz.